now I know that I can get it. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't that I doubted myself before. Right. It's just now I see it. Right. Because because that's a, that, that, that's the thing about seeing stuff, and that's why I, like like in my first book, Mind Right, Money Right, Ten Laws of Financial Freedom. I got a I got a, a something that I call See More, Be More. Right. Mm. And it's really about. Um, if you don't have access to stuff, right? So that's why that's why getting in a room, being in proximity, like that's real stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, if you don't see it, and think about this, we grew up in the projects, and all I was told, right, for all my life, yo, you're gonna be dead or in jail by 25. Mm. You're gonna be dead or in jail by 25. You're gonna be dead or in jail by 25. You're gonna be dead. So I, that's all I kept hearing. So I'm not caring about the future. I'm living summer by summer, mm. right? In the peas, we got yo. If we made it to September. We good, mm. right? Because we knew the summertime, the summer's hot. Dudes gonna get locked up. You gonna get shot. Like so, you, so, so each each summer, you just you just want to get from summer to September. You get back September, you good. Winter time, you find low, a low, joint. Low, you, know yeah. you lay up, right? Yeah. You good. But summertime was hot. So now in your head, you be you being told this, you being told this, you being told this. But then when you see something else, you see somebody else who's twenty five, who's made a lot of money. You see somebody 30, more top, you like, wait, hold on, they've been lying to me, B. <laughs> and and when you look at them, they don't even got your pedigree. Mm. You like, yo, like, you not even built, bro. Like, you not even built. Like, what I see dudes that got money, I have a vision, right? Because mm. where I come from, right, you, you got to be a certain way to have money. Like, you just, like, not anybody could get money. Like, it's, 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 it's you know, there's a, there's a portion that's sanctioned for the for for dudes. Like you have to have all these check marks, and if you got that check mark, then you then you the general. Not the one you can buy. Right. The one you gotta earn. The one you gotta earn. Where we from? But then you start seeing, and you like, yo, you're not even, yo, you're not even cut like that at all, and you got bread. I said, oh, this is, you know what I'm saying? And so and so that opened up my mind, and and now the good thing about having your mind open. Einstein said this. He said. A mind that is stretched can never go back to his to his original size. So once you're able to see something, you can't unsee, you it. Can't unsee it. It's over. Now I want so, that. So so now if I see a young dude getting money, I'm like, yo, I could get money too. Mm. And then I start believing it. And then when I do it, then it's like, oh, like nothing. Think think, think about like like Pac, right? Pac got shot four times. And now he thought he was invincible because he's like, yo, if I can survive this, I can survive, survive anything, anything right? So that's and, and so you gotta think about that's that's on a, a on a negative side, right? Where a dude get into get into situations and then use that to change his belief system. Mm. But it works on the positive side too. Like if you see something and then and then you actually like think about it and you do it, like yo, nothing can stop. Like right now, I don't think there's nothing on this planet um, that I can't attain. Mm. Like nothing. Like there's nothing that that I can't put my mind to and do it. Um, if I don't have it, it's just because I I didn't I don't really want it. But wait, even you know it's crazy because I don't want to give that one it that one scenario for coming from the project, yeah. right? Because we both in the project, but it's another side too, right? Yeah. So coming from the project, you might not be in the streets and and and, and making it from summer to winter might not be your mantra, right? Right. right, right. Or, or or they saying we ain't gonna make it to twenty one. That right. might not be your lifestyle. Yep. You might similar to me because I was from the hood, but I was never of the hood. Yeah. And yeah. what that mean was like. You know, like I came from there, but I always right. wanted out. Right. So for those guys, right, even it's still trap. Yeah. And I'm trying to paint a picture because they still say, like, you know, you get a job, you you live good, right. you can take care of your family. Yeah. But that ain't it's it's still like peanuts. Right. It's like hanging with I don't know, like you you we hear we heard this before, like a chick that's dating a millionaire, right? Mm -hmm. So he she he giving her scraps because he can he can afford right. it. He can afford, yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. It's yeah. like that's what they teach us. That's okay. Right. You know, go get your job, take care of your family. Yeah. Live paycheck to paycheck, yeah. and I'm doing good because I survived. Right, I made it past 21. Right, right. but then, like you said, you come here. Yeah, you see young guys, you see 30 year olds that's making bank. I'm talking about crazy, and yeah. they having fun. Right, they doing what they want to do. Right, and you see that, bro. My life is bigger than those Absolutely. four walls 100%. or those projects. Right, and that, but but that, but that's the thing, right? So 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 anybody, right? Whether you was outside, whether you stayed inside, whatever, um, you always have to change your environment, and mm. that's why I said, look. It's, it's, but but here's the thing, what well, what people don't realize is we are spiritual beings going through a human experience, mm. and so what happens is people feel like yo, if I'm physically in the projects, then I'm in the projects. Yo, Wallow said this. Wallow said yo, I never was locked up in jail. Facts. Right. My my body did twenty years, but I didn't. I didn't. I was never locked up. Like in in my mind. I was I was making money in my mind. I was successful in my mind. Right. So when he got out. 
That's how he got to the bag. That's how mm. he started going crazy because he's already conditioned. He's already seen what success looked like. So he's a prime example. And we ain't even got to take it to jail. Anybody, like if you live in the projects or any environment you don't want to be in, yo, you have access. You have access to podcasts. Mm. You have access to documentaries. You have access to stories. You have access to like, like create anything that you want to create in your mind. And all you got to do is see it and do it. So hold up. Help me out, cause I'm still I'm still in the middle, right? Yeah, and now yeah. I, I still want to talk to my guys at the bottom. Yep, yep. You you gotta recognize. We gotta at least. I don't want to say just to at least recognize. Yeah. The people that yeah they can say they have access, right? Yeah. But it's hard as hell thinking you got access when you try and pay your rent. Yeah. When you try and know where your next meal is coming from, so we can say you got access all we want, yeah. right? But to those guys yeah. who feel like. Man, yeah, you could say that, but I don't even know where to start. Yeah, but see, but but I but see, l- luckily you got the right one, right? <laughs> because, because you know what I'm trying to say? Because 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 I'm not like what I what I'm saying to you is not exclusive, right? It's not exclusive to when you get it. That's how you get out. Period. Mm. There's no there's no other way. I've been I've been through car re- repossessions. I've been through almost getting my crib foreclosed. I've been through all of that, right? Mm. I've been through yo yo my daughter two years old don't know where money gonna come from sitting in my in, in my driveway crying grown ass man crying because I can't feed my daughter. So I'm not coming from a place where where I'm like yo I always had it good single parent home dad left when he was two right like so I'm not coming from that place. I'm coming from I was dead pop. Mm. I'm talking about I gotta I gotta dig dig on the couch to try to get change yeah. so I can eat Chinese food or go bro. to the or go to the Hennessy saying? bottle with the change you in know, it. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm not I'm not talking like like I'm not telling you no in no way there is no other formula. Mm. The only formula is that you need to remove yourself positively, right? So that's why people drink and people smoke and they and they and they try to remove themselves mentally from what they're going through, right? But what what happens? They get high, they get drunk and no you like I'm not judging nobody who do all that, but you get high, you get drunk and then you get to this space where now your your mind is somewhere else and it can't function. Right? It can't function, and guess what happens? When the high comes down, now you back in that environment and you like yo what like right? The better escape is to quiet the mind. The better escape is to meditate. The better escape is to visualize what you actually want, right? Because what's what's gonna happen? The, the, the mind does not know the difference between what you are imagining and what's actually real, mm. right? And so if you close your eyes and you meditate and you start seeing that car, you start seeing that house, and you constantly repeating that over and over, guess what's, what, what the universe is going to do? It's going to, now you're going to start having opportunities that you're going to be attracted to that's going to get you access to those things, right? Mm. And now you're going to start seeing it. And now you start visualizing some more and you start seeing it. You visualize some more and then eventually it becomes like so normal to you that now the like the like your physical ha- like it has to happen mm. you know what i'm saying like yo when, when when i was dead broke i would go to the car dealership and kind of like like look around and act like i belong there i would go and drive around to to cribs that that are big cribs and yo the first time i used to do i used to get nervous Right, because I didn't feel like I belong there. So I go to a neighborhood with a and big crib. Something, right, something, yeah. I go to the neighborhood with a big crib, and I start getting anxiety. Like I start, like my heart start, like, like yo, let me get out of here, cause, cause I'm thinking about every negative thing that could happen. I'm like, yo, the car, the cops gonna pull me over. Some neighbor gonna gonna be like, yo, why am I here and shoot me? Like I was so nervous being in those neighborhoods because that's all I heard. Yo, black people was in this nice neighborhood. He got shot. This, mm-hmm. this. So I had this negative connotation. But guess what? I had to fight through it. So now I keep going. I keep going. I keep going. And finally, I I get to the. I started going to open houses, right? Mm. So now I'm walking in, and now I'm getting more comfortable. Now this becomes my norm. Now I'm like, I'm looking at where I really live, and I'm like, nah, this ain't it. Mm. This ain't it. Because you surrounded yourself with it. Absolutely. 